Grace Kelly. Spencer Tracy. Ooh, Vincent Manella. A typical Hollywood story. Damn good actress. I always remember Mr. Louis B. Mayer as being very nice. My mother was the one that had to sort of deal with Mr. Mayer as far as monies and things. But he, I was always very pleasant to him. He was so warm and friendly, and you've probably heard so many stories about what a, what a dragon he was, but we all loved him. He did a, he did a, a job that nobody else could have done. I, I don't say Judy Garland probably didn't love him, but... <laughs> The peons loved him. <laughs> he taught me many, many things. He, he was so much more moral than a lot of people ever thought. We weren't allowed to drink. We weren't allowed to smoke. We weren't allowed to go out with anyone he did not approve of. And I think it was a very good training ground for me. And I never had a family, so he was my father. He was my family. I guess that uh, he was a father image to me, and I was probably a, a daughter image to him. And he was so wonderful to me. I never saw the things that you uh, that you read about that he was that he'd cry a lot. Mr. Mayor, of course, had this reputation of being able to cry. He could cry big crocodile tears. He was darling to me. I liked Mr. Mayor. As a matter of fact. <clears throat> Uh, when we'd have birthday parties on the sets and all that sort of thing, he always came down and joined us. He was very sweet with me. I remember one time for my birthday, he gave me a racehorse, and it was, uh, I was just thrilled with this racehorse. And then it started winning races, and he took it back. So I never really got to have it for my very own, but uh, I forgave him. I forgave him for that.